my name is gunjan and let me begin by sharing what led to the research that reviewed the impact of adverse childhood experiences in india we have worked for many years now with uh, people who have completely functional life but many mental and emotional challenges and as we dealt with this uh, issues of anxiety depression phobia lack of confidence etc etc we started to look for the contributors the risk factors that would increase the chances of having mental health disorders and as we searched we realized that uh, about 30 years ago there was a study done by dr fallity at kaiser permanente that defined how the experiences that child goes through from the age of 3 to 18 has a profound impact on long term mental health as we realized this we started integrating some of those ideas and measurements and not to our surprise we realized that this is uh, something consistently seen in the individuals that we worked also as we started analyzing the study and similar studies across the world we also found the answers that matched with the conclusions of the original study when that happened we began to measure it consistently with several hundred people's data we were pretty sure that this is indeed a case that led to searching the evidence in india for adverse childhood experiences and we found there are only limited studies that compared the impact of multiple such experiences on the mental and emotional health of the person india has 0.4 billion adolescents and children and research says that one out of every seven indian has been diagnosed or is potentially suffering from mental health issues these numbers are huge and unfortunately there are very very few studies in india related to ace these numbers are also pre covid so after covid we would believe that the numbers would be even worse hence ace prevention and management is a very very serious healthcare concern for india and the indian public health sector hence we decided to form a team and look into this let me introduce the team that worked on this project nishita pillai is a bright uh, psychology graduate and she's pursuing her masters in forensic psychology she joined us for the summer of 2020 for this research her primary focus areas were looking for the evidence in specific elements in india and understanding are there additional questions as compared to the original 10 ace questions and the evidence behind it so that we can expand the survey and include conditions that may be relevant in india while using the globally relevant templates finally riri trivedi is a regression therapist and she is pursuing research in the area of adverse childhood experiences she has worked with a lot of childhood trauma cases and uh, she brings in the practical aspect of the implications of such situations on adults with this three of us formed a team and started the study when we started the study we asked us several questions first are there experiences beyond the core 10 questions that dr felity asked in the kaiser permanente study second the outcomes that original study found are they consistent across developing and developed countries do they carry on from a generation to generation as a behavioral trait third for india there are not many studies comparing the impact of multiple such experiences so the question we asked was are there specific elements studied in india and what did they discover fourth what is the current challenge india faces in the area of mental health and if that is not addressed what are the long term implications for the country fifth how can we identify manage and ideally prevent the implications of aces sixth can we leverage existing policy framework is it working what could it be what could we do to integrate some new ideas into it and finally our own recommendations so the original is had 10 questions and they broadly were divided in the categories of household challenges abuse and neglect 
In household challenges, mostly there were questions related to, uh, you know, domestic violence or substance abuse by a parent. In abuse, of course, it covered the areas of physical abuse, emotional abuse, sexual abuse and neglect. These were the original 10 questions. The original ACE research as well as a lot of other researches on ACE in developed and developing countries indicated that the impact of adverse childhood experiences is multifold. The impact was observed not just on the mental health but on the physical health as well, uh, on high risk behaviors. Uh, it was also linked criminal behaviors, addictions. It was found out that time does not heal these ACE traumas and that the prevalence of ACE and its impact was found across developed and developing countries. It was also found out that the impact is across generations. It does not stop at one generation, but it continues generation after generation. Eventually, the further studies added a few more questions to this original questionnaire in the areas that were not covered uh, earlier, which is peer victimization, that is bullying or parental separation or parents who are constantly fighting with each other and community violence. So the original 10 questions plus the additional five question, total of 15 questions formed the core of our ACE question. Hello, my name is Nishita Pillai and I'm currently pursuing my Master's in Forensic Psychology. I have also done my Bachelor's in Psychology. So today I'm going to talk about uh, the ACE, ACE's Adverse Childhood Experiences and its work done in India. So talking about India, there have been not much researches done on adverse childhood experiences or rather integrating all the elements of ACE to understand the impact on mental health and well-being. There was this one such study which was conducted in India was in Kerala in 2019 where there was 91 percent of prevalence among youth having at least one adverse childhood experiences and among that as well there were 50 percent of youth having more than three adverse childhood experiences. Uh, the study was actually very similar to the global findings and it also showed a very high prevalence or risk of developing major depression in later adulthood. The study actually showed a very uh, significant finding but as I said before there was not much studies or research done in this area. So hence we decided to take up this topic and to understand the work done on each individual ACE element and also its impact on mental health and well-being. So ACE, that's Adverse Childhood Experiences, majorly includes physical abuse, childhood sexual abuse, emotional abuse, neglect, household substance abuse. So firstly, I'll talk about physical abuse. So physical abuse, a lot of researchers have actually showed a very high prevalence of it among children, especially the age between 5 to 12 years. Not only this, studies have also indicated that this is the very first kind of or the very common kind of trauma a child experiences which actually leads to suicidal ideation later in the adulthood. So the next is childhood sexual abuse. So studies have actually reviewed that childhood sexual abuse not only impairs mood but the person has temperamental issues, finds it difficult to adjust socially, finds it difficult to actually maintain relations with their parents, have a lot of insecurities and it actually leads to a lot of anxiety disorders. Prevalence of this is actually it ranges from 4 to 55 percent in both the genders and sadly here the thing is that childhood sexual abuse does not occur solely but it actually occurs with the other forms of face in the same child. So the next is emotional abuse. So a lot of researches have been done on emotional abuse but the major ones was conducted in several colleges across different Indian states where it was found that out of 936 participants, 5 out of 10 were mocked for their physical appearance, 4 out of 10 were like called idiots and even 3 out of 10 were faulted for the thing which was not even their mistake. And now when I talk about its impact on mental health, it has shown a very significant role especially the people who are emotionally abused they meet the criteria for oppositional defined behavior major depression dysthymia not only this it leads to a lot of uh, mental health challenges later in the adulthood also so the next is neglect so there was this 
study which was conducted in Gujarat where it indicated that 3 out of 10 children actually have experienced neglect and in this area especially we could see that there's a gender discrimination which was found in a study conducted by the Ministry of Women and Child Development in 2007 where it indicated that girl child were getting very less food compared to their brothers. So when I talk about its impact on the mental health, again, it plays a very significant role in generalized anxiety disorder, bipolar disorder, dysthymia, and also sometimes eating problems. So lastly, I would like to talk about household substance abuse. Again, it, this also plays a very major role in generalized anxiety disorder, dysthymia, and also it actually exhibits a trend for major depression. So now, other than these areas, a lot of researchers even have covered areas which go beyond the major 10 ACE questionnaire, which includes areas like bullying, PTSD, PTSD here is post-traumatic stress disorder, community violence in other areas like specific phobia. And researchers have also supported this that these areas actually have a very huge impact on our mental health in the later stages. There was a study which actually also showed that people experiencing specific phobia, social phobia have experienced childhood maltreatment. Even disorders like generalized anxiety disorder, PTSD have been linked to childhood maltreatment. So lastly, overall, if I have to talk about the evidences that we see from these researches, we see that adverse childhood experiences have a very huge impact on our mental health and well-being. Not only that, childhood maltreatment or the ACE includes the areas which I've mentioned before, but also the areas like bullying, PTSD and community violence because it has a very huge impact on our mental health. So there was this urgent need to see if the person has experienced multiple adverse childhood experiences and to see what sort of problems are they facing right now or in the adulthood. So I decided to work on this topic and also work with this team. The ACE prevention can happen in three areas. The primary prevention is of course through awareness so that the children do not go through these adverse childhood experiences at all. So this primary prevention would be focused at parents and educators and increasing the awareness. The secondary impact aims to reduce or minimize the impact on the individual and the family. The tertiary prevention treats and reduces the long-term prevention. There are several recommendations covered in the research paper. Let's go through them through the visual that is being shown now. The outer layer covers elements that need to be integrated, starting with policy and legal framework, the social framework, integration of the mental health professionals, public health professionals, parents and caregivers, and of course the primary health clinic. By integrating all of this and creating a framework that incorporates education, research and awareness leading to action, we could then focus on the prevention. The prevention must not only focus on occurrence, but also on addressing short term and long term impact of adverse childhood experiences. So as you can see, the core idea is around preventing the occurrence and if it has happened, deal with the short term impact and prevent further damage and if it's a long-term impact we need to prevent further implications beyond what has happened and it must cover the key roles the key policy interventions etc 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 adverse childhood experiences have a strong impact on the mental and physical health as well as the behavioral health of individual it also highlights the need to expedite this research, to speed up this research and the awareness about this so as to prevent the burden on public health and to address this huge mental health issue that we could be facing in the coming years.